Hi, I'm Janice, and welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a short video to talk about something I've been struggling with lately as regards to the medical system, and that is feeling like you're not really a person anymore. When I am dealing with doctors, I very much feel like I'm a number, not a human being, and that is exponentially worse when I'm at their office or especially when I'm in the hospital. I really feel like, especially now because my face has to be all covered up and their faces are all covered up, we're just a bunch of drones, we're just a bunch of numbers. But that really was true in years past when I've been in the hospital too. There's a feeling like you really have to surrender your dignity to be a patient. You're not really a person. You're just, you're just kind of a number, something to check off the chart so that your health professionals can finish their day and go home. I know that's probably exaggerating and that there are medical professionals who really do care about their patients to at least some degree or another. But man, it really doesn't feel that way when you're in the hospital, when you're the patient, you're trapped there, you're under the medical care and you're dependent on these people who have lives and concerns and stresses and other patients to worry about it's very rare that you get a doctor or nurse even who really takes you seriously, who really takes the time to focus on you, to remind you that yes, you are a real person. And yes, we really do care about you, not just getting you treated and out the door as quickly as possible. I remember one time thanking my family doctor for looking into some things that I really wanted to look into. It was probably sort of felt like a waste of his time in some ways. But you know, his response was really great and I, I really, really appreciate that. He said, you're welcome, you're worth it. <laughs> Doctors don't normally say that, so I appreciate that he said that and it stuck with me because that was quite some time ago now. But that's not how it is with most doctors and I just want to talk about that because we're patients with chronic illness. We are patients and every time we have to have a medical appointment, you go back into that dark place where you have to deal with the struggle with that doctor who has everything else going on in his or her life. And you're just a five or 10 minute spot in their day. It's tough as a patient. I know I actually do get stressed out when I have appointments with doctors or nurses because I know it's, I, I, and I try to think the best, but I know it's probably gonna be a difficult conversation. And you don't know me, but I'm not the kind of person who tries to be a rebel or fight or anything like that. I try to be as accommodating and friendly as possible because I want to get along well with these people and I want their help. And I want to be able to communicate with them. But it just never seems to go that way. Well, okay, maybe not never, but very often it just doesn't go that way. I feel in the end like that was brutal. I'm so glad it's over. And isn't the medical system supposed to be helping patients and supporting patients, not making you feel like you're less than a human being? I have actually had to ask several times, am I really a person? And it's not that I've asked medical professionals this, but I've had to ask myself and even other people in my life, am I really a person? Because I don't feel like a person anymore. I'm just trouble. I'm just something to be solved or at least put away in a corner and forgotten about. And I know, that's just emotional, but it is my life and it's hard. And I would love to hear from you guys with chronic illness. If you are struggling with that too, do you sometimes feel like you're not a person? Because you are a person, you really are a person. But man, it sure doesn't feel that way sometimes. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and God bless.